So I, uh, I'm the program director at Memorial. Uh, I've got Justin uh, Upshaw joining uh, joining me tonight. He's uh, he's our, one of our administrative year residents um, at Memorial, so he's going to join chime in at the end um, at the last few slides. So many of you, some of you may have been here. Um, many, hopefully, the rest of you know where we are, but we're uh, we're on a little island in the middle of the North Atlantic. So this means a couple of things: is that we're pretty self sufficient. Uh, we don't send. It's, it's hard for us to package people up and send them to somewhere else for management. So we, we learn to be uh, to, to do what we need to do to, to treat our patients, uh, given given how isolated we are. And along those lines, um, you know, we we live out here, like I said, in the North Atlantic, we've we've got great camaraderie. Um, and uh, I doubt any of you know who this guy is. Um, and of course, this is where I talk about a uh, forefather of orthopedics, just some old white guy, right? Uh, just another old white guy, uh, but uh, this is Dr. Petal, who founded our program, and uh, I, I think very fondly of him because uh, he uh, was an enthusiastic teacher um, and a uh, visionary who founded our program, and uh, I think has led us to where we are today with a uh, very collegial group of of uh, faculty um, who uh, who mentor uh, a very collegial group of of, uh, of residents as well. So we're very proud of what we what we have here, um, and uh, we know that we have a culture here that uh, that I hope will shine through uh, with the rest of this. Um, so we have 15 faculty, 12 adult, and three pediatric, uh, with a broad level of experience. We've got very junior um, faculty, um, a lot of faculty actually between one and uh, one and 15 years of practice, and then there's uh, a few that have been in practice and offer a lot of a uh, lot of experience. We cover all of the breadth of subspecialties within orthopedics, um, ranging from pediatrics through trauma and so on, all the way to onco oncology. Uh, we, uh, we take two to three residents per year. Um, the goal is that to, we actually bolster our numbers a little bit and take three a year. So we, we have usually a maximum of about three, 15 residents, which is a mixture of uh, both Memorial graduates, uh, other Canadian gra uh, graduates, some, uh, the odd IMG, um, and uh, a mix of male, male and female residents. We've been allotted three for 2024. Um, and an interesting point that uh, we get many candidates asking about uh, on interview day is that we do have the option to complete a diploma or a master's in clinical epidemiology. We have a well-trodden path with, uh, with our colleagues in that department um, and some residents, uh, one of whom actually is, is uh, Justin, who's, uh, who's gonna talk tonight um, who uh, can actually complete this during during the five years of residency. We have three main teaching hospitals within the city of St. John's, our Health Sciences Center, which is our main tertiary uh, trauma center. We have our downtown hospital, St. Clair's, um, and our pediatric hospital, the Janeway, which is act actually attached to the, uh, to the health sciences on, on, uh, on the back of that, uh, where our main medical school is. Our goal, like many of the other programs, is to to produce a competent and adaptable uh, orthopedic surgeon. Um, but one of the things that Dr. Uh, Petal sought out to do when he founded a program was to create a community-based surgeon to serve the population of Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, and as a result, I think that that still shines through with most of our, uh, most of our residents our, our, and our graduates is that many of them are able to enter a community-based practice right away because um, we have the, the, the mentors or the faculty that are here are very uh, general in their practice as uh, on the scale of uh, of specialists uh, across the country. Um, we teach according to CBD principles, and we have progressive clinical responsibility. But this longitudinal clinical exposure is uh, is what I believe sets us apart um, from from some of the larger programs within the country. Um, for instance, our foot and ankle surgeon does some arthroplasty. We have uh, myself, who's you know, I do mostly uh, mostly arthroplasty, but I'll still do some arthroscopy. All of our all of our faculty cover call, so we're still involved in treating ankles and 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 hips and infection and so on uh, after hours. And, and as, as a result, I believe that uh, the uh, the mentors that will be teaching our uh, residents offer a very uh, broad skill set uh, and and a lot of transferable skills. And I think that uh, that serves the uh, the training of a community based surgeon very well. We have an organized teaching curriculum, just like any other program. Um, we offer very early surgical exposure 
close mentorship and monitoring, given that we have a small number of residents, it's very uncommon for you to be able to, to sort of uh, to hide in the shadows or uh, get lost in the mix here. And we don't have any senior uh, fellowship level uh, trainees here, so we don't. Uh, uh, so those types of trainees aren't really poaching the sort of more difficult cases. Our clinical rotations are very similar to what you see in other programs. So in the first and second year, you get eight blocks on service. Um, and then uh, some other things, pertinent things off service, like uh, the trauma ser service with general surgery, some MSK radiology, an orthopedically or MSK based emergency department uh, rotation and so on, some, some ICU neurosurgery. Um, year three um, consists of uh, eight blocks of uh, ortho, core ortho, ortho in the city here, uh, and then a three block community ortho uh, rotation that can be done at one of our uh, rural sites within Newfoundland, but can also be used uh, to go uh, somewhere else across the country as long as it fits the uh, the definition of a community uh, based uh, practice. Um, we do some plastic surgery for enhanced uh, hand exposure, um, and then the rest of year four and five offers some elective and some core uh, rotations in in uh, orthopedics. Our residents do one block, so one four week block of night float per year. Um, and uh, night float is uh, something you'll see at other programs as well, where, uh, and it's really, uh, I believe, enhanced the, uh, the lifestyle of, of our residents as well. Uh, so we do have a formal teaching curriculum. We have boot camps, both for surgical foundations and also for, uh, for orthopedics. Uh, we have annual anatomy teaching with the cadaver. Uh, our weekly rounds consist of trauma, pediatric and grand round sessions. Um, we have a monthly journal club that uh, we usually host at, uh, at, our, at our houses, the faculty mean the residents don't have to host, it's, it's just the faculty. Um, the, uh, we have regular assessments just like everywhere else. Um, and what we believe is a fairly robust exam, oral exam preparation, we, we have our residents out uh, starting in the fall of their fifth year out to our homes or uh, meet in the, the offices outside the regular hospital environment often to go through uh, some exam cases and so on. Um, some of our residents have kept track of how many cases they get, and it's in excess of 400 typically of the individual cases for examination preparation. Um, so what else we do? Our residents are involved, uh, play hockey together, do some sports together. We have a couple of uh, fairly big social events per year. Um, we have a resident retreat, often in, almost universally includes a game of paintball, um, so you can shoot the program director. Um, in the back, if you wanted, um, and we, uh, one of our staff usually opens up his uh, his uh, cottage for uh, for some water skiing and some hot tubbing. Um, we also, uh, being close to the ocean, like to take advantage of uh, some cod fishing. So we have some of those excursions, and uh, and the uh, the uh, tourism ads uh, really don't do, even though they're pretty impressive, they really don't do the uh, area just uh, justice. And we we have some great picturesque areas some great world-class hiking, photography, and uh, just some general, general nice uh, picturesque landscapes. So Justin, I'll give you a couple of minutes if you wanna just uh, spout off some things about from the resident perspective. Yeah, certainly. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Justin. I'm one of the uh, fourth year residents as Dr. Rao said. So from a resident point of view, um, I gotta say I've, I've very much enjoyed the, the MUN program. One thing that definitely, uh, you know, you, you realize pretty early on is that you, Although you're supported uh, by your co-residents, you are definitely very independent from day one. Like Dr. Rao said, we don't have any uh, any fellows or anything here. Um, so from the in the operating room from day one, you're there as the the first assist, and it's a you know one-on-one -on -one with the staff. Uh, so you get excellent exposure right out of the gate. Um, we have a really tight knit group of residents. So although we do uh, you know night float and independent call uh, straight from day one, we we definitely have a very um, it's almost like you're never on call alone because you know there's only a, a you know handful of senior residents and we're always very available to all the juniors to you know help out or answer questions whatever the case may be and that leads to a really collegial kind of environment where everybody feels very supported and you know we get to know the staff uh the staff and the fellow residents very very well uh, from early on in the program so it's definitely um, a great advantage uh, with that as well, just the ratio between the, the staff surgeons um, and the uh, and the residents and the uh, you know the amount of exposure that we get and the relationship that we form uh, you know definitely leads to us having a lot of teaching opportunities both formally and informally. So kind of you know um, operating room or hallway type teaching and then also uh, 
uh, you know, lots of one-on-one sessions, lots of, uh, lots of rounds, staff teaching us trauma, you know, on a weekly basis, pediatrics on a weekly basis. So, um, that's, that's really reassuring. And, uh, it, as a result of that, we have an excellent track record for passing the exam. I'm just, I'm going to be the first cohort, me and my co-resident to write it. So in October, uh, this coming year. So I, and we're both quite confident that, you know, we'll have a lot of backing from our staff and everything that to, to get through it. Um, St. John's itself, I'm a bit biased cause I'm from here, but you know, I'll, I'll tell you that I, I love the place. Uh, it's a small city right now. I live kind of, uh, right in the center of downtown St. John's in an apartment. Um, everything I need for me is actually pretty much within walking distance. I'm about, uh, 10 minute drive from one hospital and about a five minute drive from the other one. Um, yeah, no rush hour traffic jams. I get frustrated when it takes me more than 10 minutes to get to work. If it takes me like 12 minutes, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fuming from the care. Um, and two of our sites downtown are, are right next door to one another, pretty much. It's about a five minute drive from one to the other. Our children's hospital is attached to our main uh, health science uh, trauma center. And then we've got our, the more of a community based center downtown where we do a lot more of our elective type work. Um, we have, like Dr. Al showed a couple photos there, uh, Newfoundland is just a, a brilliant place to come if you're into the outdoors, any pursuit you could hope to imagine, whether it be, you know, hiking, um, kayaking, sailing, hunting, fishing, skiing, um, photography, camping, uh, whatever you want. We got a, a, a beautiful landscape. Um, it's a very cozy you know, it's it's a, St. John's is a very cozy city, settled in the midst of a pretty uh, a pretty wild island. So there's lots of stuff to do, and it is uh, the people here are super friendly. Um, you know, just the the culture of Newfoundland is uh, you know being from here. I can tell you that it's something special. It's kind of hard to describe, um, but a lot of people. We have a pretty even blend of residents that come from away and and folks who are who graduate from Mun who enter the program, and I can tell you right now that. A lot of folks who, uh, you know, who come from away and come and uh, participate in our program, they hate to leave. And a lot of them want to come back and, you know, either work or, you know, it, it tears them up. They fall in love with the place. So um, it's great. We do have, uh, as we mentioned, you know, St. John's is our, is our capital city of the province, uh, but it is quite a large province, uh, you know, from a, a geographic point of view. St. John's is all the way out on the East Coast, um, has a, the surrounding area, I believe, has roughly 300,000 people. The province itself has about 550,000 people. So the rest of those quarter million or so people are, are spread over a pretty big landscape. And we end up getting some opportunities to travel to uh, up in the Labrador to do some traveling clinics in Goose Bay and Lab City. Um, we've had some surgical teams travel out to a few different places on the island um, to do some uh, some arthroplasty, some other types of lists, um, some day surgery stuff in some nearby communities. Um, we generally take a couple days to go to some of these places, and it's a great, great exposure. Um, the other thing we got here, Team Broken Earth. So there's a, some of you folks may have heard of uh, Team Broken Earth. I recently had the opportunity to go down to Guatemala just this past winter with this group. And um, we uh, basically went down to uh, provide some subspecialty surgical services that weren't uh, available there. And uh, it was an absolutely brilliant experience. I seen some really interesting orthopedics. I got to work with a bunch of great people, see a cool place. Um, and we generally do try to get all of our residents at some point uh, to get on this trip or, or a trip like it, because it's a great experience. So just to clue up here quickly, um, why I consider Memorial? St. John's, like I said, it's a fantastic place to spend five years. Um, you know, people who, who, come, who come from other places and come live here, I just fall in love with the place. Um, we get a really, we get a really down to earth um, level of teaching, I would say, and that I definitely feel, you know, I just went on my community block for three months, not that long ago. And even, you know, finishing third year, going into fourth year, I definitely felt like I had a great deal of exposure to a lot of what I was expected to do in the community. Um, so it was really encouraging to see that I had that much uh, exposure, to that kind of stuff early on in my residency. It, it, it's, uh, it's very satisfying. Um, dedicated faculty. Absolutely. They get to know you one on one first name basis right out of the get go. We have all the subspecialists you want to learn everything you need to be a confident, uh, you know, a confident a general orthopedic surgeon to pass your exam. 
and the culture and camaraderie is just uh it comes along with that small small program feel so it's really cozy place to train